Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. And welcome to another product unboxing. Like I said in my last video, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do one of these every week, but when I have a few packages that I need to crack open, I'll go ahead and film them. So today we have tonight we have two items to unbox tonight. We have two packages to unbox. We have an envelope from Orbits and we have a box from Chaosium. So let's take a look at the envelope from Orbits first. Here's the envelope from Orbits up first. Now what should be in here should be another set of the Dreamers Chaos Tokens and a set of connecting markers. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what's inside. Now I originally needed the Chaos Tokens for my home Innsmouth campaign, or for my group's Innsmouth campaign because I was going to have two Innsmouth campaigns going on at the same time. But instead, I'm going to end up wrapping my home Innsmouth campaign pretty soon because A, we're starting our group Innsmouth campaign tomorrow night, and B, my home Innsmouth campaign has three mental trauma on it. So we're going to bring that campaign to an end. So first of all, we'll take a look at the cast tokens. You might recognize these cast tokens because they're the same tokens that the Dreamers are... They're the same tokens that the Dreamers are using. So we'll go ahead and grab one of these out. So that is a yellow film that's on the tokens. That'll have to come off before I put them in coin capsules, but... So that's, so that's good that we've got those. Now let's take a look at the connection markers. So the connection markers you'll use you'll use as a, to indicate where locations connect in a scenario. So let's go ahead and crack these open. I don't know if there's the same yellow film on here that'll have to come off. Can't really tell from here, but we'll see if we can't. Yep, looks like this also has the same yellow film that'll have to come off, but those definitely look slick. So, go ahead and get this one peeled as well. Surprisingly able to, well, okay, that was a pretty bad peel job. Let's see if we can do a little better than that. There we go. Okay, that looks like, ooh! Okay, so they're double-sided on, so they're double-sided arrow on one side and single-sided on the other. That's pretty cool. And I definitely like the way those look anyway, so... Yeah, those are really cool. So, we got a bunch of good tokens from Orbits. That'll do it for that. Now let's take a look at the box from Chaosium. Here's the box from Chaosium. Now this... Chaosium is the company that makes Call of Cthulhu. I probably mentioned them in my intro video. They are based in Minnesota looking at the return label, so... This should have a bunch of Call of Cthulhu books in it, so... Just out of curiosity... Uh, it is... does not look to be a Uline box, so... That is what it is, but let's go ahead and crack this thing open. They used a lot of tape on here. So... Yeah. Let's see if we can figure out... Oh, there we go. Looks like we can get into it there. Um... I don't want to cut towards me if I can. God, I swear, this craft tape job is just... so excessive. I think they even use... I think they actually use more craft tape than my aunt, honestly. Good lord. Alright. But anyway... There we go. Alright. And I'm noxious with the fill... with the void as much... Their... their void fill of choice is craft paper... Fan... Void fill craft paper. Hey, okay, look at that. I could have sworn I didn't order another box, but apparently, if this is to be believed, I did order another box. Fan freaking tastic. 
just what I always wanted. At least looking at this one, the tape job, at least looking at this one, the tape job doesn't seem to be nearly as bad as the outside box was. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and break this down so I can, so I can get rid of it. Alright, so that box is broken down. Let's go ahead and get into this one now. It's heavy, but a series of books is expected to be heavy, so... There we go, and... Phenomenal. Alright, okay, cool. All right, so first thing we've got up, looks like it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Well, instead of one-on-one -on -one scenarios, does love forgive? Okay, cool. Nice, collection of two scenarios for Call of Cthulhu for one keeper and one player. Nice. And oh, Kevin wasn't kidding when he said this was this got pumped up, so... This is another adventure from Call of Cth for Call of Cthulhu, Horror on the Orient Express. Looks like it comes in two volumes. London to the Alps, and Italy to Constantinople. So, wow. Nice. Up to 19 adventures. Jeez. So yeah, this made up the lion's share of the weight, and they definitely, looks like they definitely pumped it up, but... Yeah, that'll do it for this unboxing video. Thank you for watching this video. Do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw. Follow me on YouTube for live streaming. I know I've been teasing you guys with the sleeving stream, but my streaming setup really is almost done. So I'll probably, it's probably far enough along that I could go live and I might this weekend. I'll kick that around though. But otherwise, other than that, be well, stay safe, take care of your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care, everyone.